Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Cadence VIP by Metric. So, this is the original version. And this is the base we're going to be making. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up our oscillator. So we're going to load a sine wave on oscillator A and a sub wave on oscillator B this way. Very simple sound until now. We're also going to turn on the sub and put it on a square wave. And next we're going to map another foe into the level of all of the oscillators. Make a plucky shape like this. And set its rate. Now let's bring the level of B down. And we're going to be running FM from B. We also need to boost the octave on oscillator B. Up to five octaves of distance between oscillators. Next, we're gonna go into the effects and we're gonna turn on the hyper to get some stereo with. We're gonna add a lot of distortion. There you go. We're gonna add some chorus, set on high pass, bring the mix down. Cool. So now to get the movement, we need to modulate the pitch bend like this. like that. But we need to set this range to minus 5. Just like that and then automate it. So the automation will look something like this. You can always experiment with this. It'll be cool if you change the riff like this. Something like that. Now for post-processing it's really simple, it's just some basic EQing, boosting the mids and the highs, and then we have a preset of the chorus of Ableton called Joman at 44% drying wet. There you go. And so this will be layer number one of the base. Now let's jump into layer number two. Okay, so here I have another initialized patch, and we're going to replicate the same thing we did with the other patch, which was turning on all of the oscillators and modulating the level of oscillator A and the sub. Make a plucky shape like this. But instead of the other setup, we're going to add a square wave on oscillator A. And we're going to load a complex wave table. It can be any, for example, Monster 5 and Braun FM. One octave up. and experiment with the wavetail position. We're also gonna turn on the filter and we're gonna map the full one into the cutoff. Hold shift and alt to change the modulation between bipolar, which will be both ways, and unipolar, only one way. So this will be the plug that we're gonna be layering on top of the other base. Now on the effects, we're gonna add hyper and distortion. Bring the mix down on the hyper. Turn on the compressor and set on multiband. Boost the release. And then add a bit of reverb. Now, if you don't want your sound to change, you can bring the random phase all the way down. And then set it manually. There you go. So now if we layer this with the other patch. Now without it. And with it, now you can always change its texture, for example, change the amount of FM and the octave. And that is what builds this sound. So that's going to be it for this lesson. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. 
Once again, if you want to get access to a preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.